Do you know, the world is changing rapidly. We are seeing new technologies emerge all the time, and these technologies are having a profound impact on the way we live and work. Transportation is no exception. The way we travel is changing, and it is changing rapidly. In this video, I will take a look at some of the trends that are shaping the future of transportation and give you my predictions on what transportation will be like in 2050. The Rise of Electric Vehicles One of the most obvious trends in transportation is the rise of electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are becoming more popular, and for good reason. They are cleaner, quieter, and more efficient than gasoline vehicles. By 2050, I believe that electric vehicles will be the norm. They will be cheaper, more powerful, and have a greater range. They will also be more integrated with the grid, allowing them to be used as a form of energy storage. The growth of autonomous vehicles. Another important trend in transportation is the growth of autonomous vehicles. Autonomous vehicles are vehicles that can drive themselves without human intervention. There are a number of advantages to autonomous vehicles. They are safer than human-driven vehicles, can reduce traffic congestion, and can make transportation more accessible for people with disabilities. By 2050, I believe that autonomous vehicles will be common. They will be used for everything from personal transportation to public transportation. The development of Hyperloop Hyperloop is a new form of transportation that is still in development. Hyperloop vehicles travel through a tube at speeds of up to 760 miles per hour. Hyperloop has the potential to revolutionize transportation. It is faster, cleaner, and more efficient than traditional forms of transportation. I believe that Hyperloop will be an important part of the transportation landscape in 2050. It will be used to connect cities that are currently separated by long distances. The emergence of new forms of transportation. In addition to these main trends, other new forms of transportation are emerging. These include flying cars, drone taxis, and personal jetpacks. These new forms of transportation are still in the early stages of development but have the potential to change the way we travel. They could make transportation more convenient, more efficient, and more fun. So what does the future of transportation look like? It's hard to say for sure, but I believe it will be a combination of the trends I've discussed. We'll see more electric vehicles, more autonomous vehicles, and more new forms of transportation. Transportation will be cleaner, safer, and more efficient than it is today. Harley Fairfax K-55 AirPal Trainer was conceived as an economical plane for training new pilots. It was so cheap that it didn't even have an intercom for the instructor to communicate with the students, so they had to signal with their hands or directly shout. Imagine the noise and confusion that must have been in the air with these planes. Dinkle GX Klein Fuhrwerks Waif, whose name means something like small fireworks weapon, was little more than a metal tube with wings. Instead of wheels it had skates, and the pilot had to struggle with the controls to keep it in stable flight. This plane was a German invention during World War II, and it was supposed to draw a swastika in the sky with fireworks to entertain Hitler. But the plan went wrong and the four Dinkel GXs that were launched collided with each other and exploded in flames. BV-141B, the German government commissioned, in 1937, the design of a single-engine, three-seater plane for reconnaissance tasks. The German Air Ministry finally commissioned Blohm and Voss to produce the BV-141 model, which had a very peculiar shape. The fuselage was offset to one side of the wing, and the engine was mounted on a support on the other side. Despite its asymmetrical appearance, the BV-141 flew well and was very maneuverable. However, the project was cancelled for political reasons and only 38 units were built. Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as B-2 Bomber is the most expensive plane in the world, $737 million, and has the ability to launch conventional and nuclear bombs. This plane is an example of stealth technology, which allows it to avoid being detected by enemy radars. It has a flying wing shape, without tail or rudder, which gives it a very futuristic appearance. The B-2 can fly more than 10,000 kilometers without refueling and carry up to 23 tons of armament. I hope you enjoyed this text about some of the strangest planes in history. It These machines are absolutely massive, and they're used for a variety of purposes, from mining to construction to transportation. So without further ado, let's get started. 1. The Bagger 288 The Bagger 288 is a bucket wheel excavator that is used in open pit mining. It is the largest land vehicle in the world, and it is so big that it has its own weather system. 
The Bagger 288 is 420 feet long, 225 feet wide, and 150 feet tall. It weighs 45,360 tons, and it can excavate up to 240,000 cubic yards of material per day. Two. The Big Muskie The Big Muskie was a bucket wheel excavator that was used in open pit mining in Ohio. It was the largest land vehicle in the world until the Bagger 288 was built. The Big Muskie was 310 feet long, 175 feet wide, and 135 feet tall. It weighed 13,500 tons, and it could excavate up to 120,000 cubic yards of material per day. 3. The Komatsu D575A Superdozer The Komatsu D575A Superdozer is the largest bulldozer in the world. It is used in construction and mining, and it is capable of moving massive amounts of earth. The Komatsu D575A Superdozer is 240 feet long, 118 feet wide, and 125 feet tall. It weighs 750 tons, and it can push up to 1,200 tons of material at a time. 4. The Bertha The Bertha is the largest tunnel boring machine in the world. It is being used to build a new tunnel under Seattle, Washington. The Bertha is 57 feet in diameter, and it is 640 feet long. It weighs 4,500 tons, and it can excavate up to 4,000 feet of tunnel per month. Five, The Large Hadron Collider The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It is located in Switzerland and France, and it is used to study the fundamental particles of nature. The Large Hadron Collider is 27 kilometers long, and it has a circumference of 17 miles. It weighs 38,000 tons, and it can accelerate particles to speeds of up to 99.999999% of the speed of light. So those are the five biggest machines in the world. The fastest fighter plane ever created was the NASA-USAF-X-15, which reached a record speed of 4,520 miles per hour, Mach 6.7, and an altitude of 354,200 feet in a program to investigate all aspects of manned hypersonic flight. The X-15 was a reusable rocket plane that was part of the X-series of experimental aircraft used by the USAF, NASA, and USN. The X-15 made a total of 199 flights between 19 1959 and 1968, with 12 different pilots. However, the fastest operational fighter plane remains the MiG-25, which was designed by the Soviet Union in the 60s as a high-altitude, high-speed interceptor. The MiG-25 can reach a maximum speed of Mach 3.2 and an altitude of 90,000 feet. The MiG-25 entered service in 1970 and became one of the most feared planes by Western countries during the Cold War. We can also talk about fast planes such as the MiG-31, the F-15E Strike Eagle and the Boeing X-37. The MiG-31 is a successor to the MiG-25 that can fly at Mach 2.83 and has an advanced radar capable of tracking multiple aerial and ground targets simultaneously. The F-15E Strike Eagle is an American fighter bomber that can reach a speed of Mach 2.5 and has a large air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapon load capacity. The Boeing X-37 is an unmanned space vehicle that can reach an orbital speed of Mach 25 and perform classified missions in space for months or years. The three most expensive planes in Poland are the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the Airbus A380, the Gulfstream G650ER. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is a wide-body, long-range commercial jet airliner manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes. It is the first commercial aircraft to extensively use composite materials, making it lighter and more fuel-efficient than previous aircraft. The Dreamliner is also the first passenger aircraft to feature a glass cockpit, providing pilots with a wider field of view and improved visibility. The cost of a Boeing 787 Dreamliner ranges from $250 million to $300 million. The aircraft can carry up to 250 passengers and has a range of 7,870 nautical miles. The Dreamliner is used by several airlines, including Polish Airlines Lot. The Airbus A380 is a two-story, wide-body commercial jet airliner manufactured by Airbus. It is the world's largest passenger aircraft, 
with a capacity of up to 853 passengers. The A380 is powered by four Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines and has a range of 8,500 nautical miles. The cost of an Airbus A380 ranges from $400 million to $500 million. The aircraft is used by several airlines, including Emirates, Singapore Airlines, and Lufthansa. The Gulfstream G650ER is an ultra-high-speed, long-range commercial aircraft manufactured by Gulfstream Aerospace. It is the world's fastest and longest-range business jet, with a top speed of Mach 0.925 and a range of 7,500 nautical miles. The G650ER is powered by two Rolls-Royce BR710 engines and can carry up to 19 passengers. The cost of a Gulfstream G650ER is $75 million. The aircraft is used by several individuals and companies, including the Polish government. These are the three most expensive planes in Poland. All these planes are used by a variety of airlines and individuals. All are highly advanced and capable aircraft, including the Cessna Citation X, a Boeing 727 Trijet, a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter, and his prized narrow-body aircraft, the Boeing 757, which he called Trump Force One. The 757 was purchased by Trump in 2011 for $100 million and became an icon at his 2016 campaign rallies. When he was president since 2016, Trump used Air Force One, a Boeing 747 specially modified for presidential transportation, for his official trips. He was required to use the government transport fleet while in office, so he stopped using his 757. In 2019, Trump's 757 was parked at Stewart International Airport in New York, where it stayed for two years before flying to Louisiana in November 2021 for a facelift. In May 2021, Trump announced on his website that the plane would be fully restored and upgraded in Louisiana and used at upcoming rallies. Although the aircraft was initially said to be back in service at the end of 2021, it finally returned in July 2022. The 757's new paint job was completed by aircraft restoration company Landlocked Aviation, a job that required 40 people and about a month to complete. It sports a black fuselage and an American flag on the tail. The refurbishment of the aircraft also included the installation of Rolls-Royce engines. Restoration company president Tyson Grensbach said that great men and women of landlocked aviation take pride in consistently delivering superior aircraft restoration work while providing exceptional customer service. Trump's 757 is expected to return to service for the upcoming presidential election in 2024. Furthermore, the 757 is a luxurious and eye-catching aircraft that is sure to attract the attention of Trump supporters. Gripen JAS-39 The JAS-39 Gripen is a single-engine multi-role fighter developed and manufactured by Saab in Sweden. The Gripen was designed to be a lightweight and agile aircraft that could be operated at a relatively low cost. It has been in service with the Swedish Air Force since 1997 and has also been exported to Brazil, Czech Republic, Hungary, and Thailand. The Gripen is a delta-wing aircraft with canard four planes. It is powered by a single General Electric F404 GE 400 afterburning turbofan engine. The aircraft has a maximum speed of Mach 2.4 and a range of 1,500 kilometers. The Gripen can carry a variety of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. It can also be equipped with electronic warfare systems and a targeting pod. The Gripen is a highly capable aircraft that can be used for a variety of missions, including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. It is also equipped with a number of advanced features such as a glass cockpit and an integrated weapon system. The F-15E Strike Eagle The F-15E Strike Eagle is a twin-engine multi-role fighter developed by McDonnell Douglas for the United States Air Force. The Strike Eagle was designed to be a long-range high-altitude air superiority fighter that could also be used for ground attack missions. It has been in service with the U.S. Air Force since 1986 and has also been exported to Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Singapore. The Strike Eagle is a large swept-wing aircraft with a two-seat cockpit. It is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW229 afterburning turbofan engines. The aircraft has a maximum speed of Mach 2.5 and a range of 4,000 kilometers. The Strike Eagle can carry a variety of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. It can also be equipped with electronic warfare systems and a targeting pod. Thank you for watching this video about the JAS-39 Gripen and F-15E Strike Eagle. It uh, damn. You know, GMC should be extremely proud of themselves uh, of the build of this, uh, this. LeBron James is one of the most successful athletes in the world and has a car collection to match. 
His collection includes some of the most expensive and luxurious cars on the market. Given the, skies is a feast. the car in LeBron's collection is the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. The Aventador is a supercar known for its speed and performance. It is powered by a 6.5-liter V12 engine that produces 700 horsepower. The Aventador can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. LeBron also owns a Ferrari F430 Spider. The F430 is a sports car known for its handling and agility. It is powered by a 4.3-liter V8 engine that produces 483 horsepower. The F430 can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. In addition to these high-end cars, LeBron also owns some vehicles that with a lot of work can be achieved. This vehicle is, uh... Amazing. He has a Hummer H2. Electric for to still have that power and that presence of, of a Hummer. Don't be surprised when you see me rolling down the street in this. You know, say I might be in Ohio back at the crib. Might catch me in uh, an LA one of these LA streets. A Chevy Camaro SS and a Dodge Challenger SRT. These cars are not as expensive as the Lamborghini and Ferrari but they are still very good cars. LeBron James is a car enthusiast and has a great collection of cars. He has a variety of cars to choose from, depending on his mood and needs. Whether he's going to a game, taking his family for a ride or just cruising around town, LeBron James always has the perfect car for the occasion. The Rolls-Royce Boattail is the most expensive car in the world, with a price tag of $28 million. It was commissioned by a wealthy couple and is one of a kind. The car is designed to look like a luxury yacht, with a long, flowing body and a large trunk. It's powered by a 6.75-liter V12 engine that produces 563 horsepower. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire is the second most expensive car in the world. With a price tag of $19 million. It's a tribute to the Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic, which was produced in the 1930s. The La Voiture Noire is a one of a kind car that's made entirely of carbon fiber. It's powered by a 16.4-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine that produces 1,479 horsepower. The Rolls-Royce Swiftail is the third most expensive car in the world, with a price tag of $13 million. It's another one-of-a-kind car that was commissioned by a wealthy customer. The swept tail has a long, sloping body and a panoramic glass roof. It's powered by a 6.75-liter V12 engine that produces 563 horsepower. The Bugatti Senta Diasi is the fourth most expensive car in the world, with a price tag of $9 million. It's a limited edition version of the Bugatti Chiron that's inspired by the Bugatti EB110. The Senta Diasi has a more aggressive body style than the Chiron and is powered by the same 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine that produces 1,600 horsepower. Mercedes-Benz Maybach Accelero 
the Mercedes-Benz Maybach Accelero is the fifth most expensive car in the world. With a price tag of $8 million. It was built in 2005 as a test car for the Mercedes-Benz Maybach S-Class. The Accelero has a long, sleek body and a 6.0-liter V12 engine that produces 700 horsepower. Well, there you have it, the five most expensive cars in the world. The American X-15. American X-15 plane, the fastest plane in the world, is the American X-15. It was an experimental rocket-powered plane used by NASA and the U.S. Air Force to conduct research on high-speed flight. The X-15 reached a top speed of 4,520 miles per hour, Mach 6.7, and also set the record for the highest altitude reached by a manned aircraft at 102,100 feet. The X-15 was a very complex plane and required a very special pilot to fly it. Pilots had to be in top physical condition and had to be able to withstand the extreme forces of high-speed flight. The X-15 was retired in 1979, but it remains the fastest and highest flying manned aircraft ever built. The Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird plane The Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird is another incredibly fast plane. It was a reconnaissance plane used by the U.S. Air Force to gather intelligence information during the Cold War. The State Route 71 could fly at speeds of up to 2,500 miles per hour, Mach 3.2 and could reach altitudes of up to 85,000 feet. The State Route 71 was made of titanium, which was necessary to withstand the extreme heat generated at high speeds. The plane was also equipped with special radar-absorbing materials to make it difficult for enemy radar to detect. The State Route 71 was retired in 1998, but it remains one of the most iconic planes ever built. The Tupolev Tu-144 Tupolev Tu-144 plane The Tupolev Tu-144 was the first supersonic passenger plane. It was developed by the Soviet Union in the 1960s and entered service in 1968. The Tu-144 could fly at speeds of up to 2,150 miles per hour, Mach 2.3, and could carry up to 140 passengers. The Tu-144 was a commercial failure and was retired in 1978. However, it remains an important historical aircraft and is considered one of the greatest achievements of Soviet aviation. The Boeing XB-70 Valkyrie Boeing XB-70 Valkyrie plane The Boeing XB-70 Valkyrie was a strategic bomber developed by the United States in the 1960s. The XB-70 could fly at speeds of up to 2,300 miles per hour, Mach 3.0, and was designed to carry nuclear weapons. The XB-70 never went into production, but it set several speed records. It remains one of the most impressive planes ever built. The Dassault Rafale. Dassault Rafale planes. The Dassault Rafale is a multi-role fighter developed by France in the 1980s. The Rafale can fly at speeds of up to 1,900 miles per hour, Mach 2.0, and is equipped with a variety of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. The Sukhoi Su-57 Sukhoi Su-57 plane The Sukhoi Su-57 is a fifth-generation fighter developed by Russia in the 2000s. The Su-57 can fly at speeds of up to 1,900 miles per hour, Mach 2.0, and is equipped with a variety of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. The Su-57 is still under development but is expected to enter service with the Russian Air Force in the near future. These are just some of the impressive beasts of the skies that you will learn about on this channel. Now let's move on to the deadliest war tanks in the world. These tanks are incredibly advanced and can be a real force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. So without further ado, let's get started. T-14 Armada T-14 Armada tank The T-14 Armada is Russia's newest tank and is one of the most advanced tanks in the world. It is equipped with a new smoothbore gun of 125mm, new composite armor and a new active protection system. It is 
also the world's first unmanned tank, with all crew members located in an armored capsule at the rear of the tank. Can you imagine taking something like this to work? Comment if you would do it and tell us what your current job is. M1 Abrams M1 Abrams tank The M1 Abrams is the main battle tank of the United States Army and is one of the most powerful tanks in the world. It is equipped with a smoothbore gun of 120mm, composite armor and a variety of other weapons and systems. The M1 Abrams has been involved in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan and has proven to be a very effective tank. Leopard 2 Leopard 2 tank The Leopard 2 is Germany's main battle tank and is one of the most advanced tanks in the world. It is equipped with a smoothbore gun of 120mm, composite armor and a variety of other weapons and systems. The Leopard 2 has been involved in combat in Afghanistan and has proven to be a very effective tank. Challenger 2 Challenger 2 tank The Challenger 2 is Britain's main battle tank and is one of the most powerful tanks in the world. It is equipped with a smoothbore gun of 120mm, composite armor and a variety of other weapons and systems. The Challenger 2 has been involved in combat in Iraq and has proven to be a very effective tank. Those are some of war's best advanced planes and tanks. His garage houses some of the most expensive and luxurious cars on the market, including a Pagani Huayra, a Rolls-Royce Wraith, and a Ford GT. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most impressive cars in Dwayne Johnson's collection. We'll talk about the history of each car, its features, and why The Rock loves it so much, and at the end I'll tell you my favorite. Pagani Huayra The Pagani Huayra is one of the most exclusive cars in the world. It is powered by a 6.0-liter twin-turbo V12 engine that produces 730 horsepower. The Huayra can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds and has a top speed of 230 miles per hour. The Rock bought his Huayra in 2013 and says it's one of his favorite cars. He loves how it looks, how it drives, and the fact that it's so rare. Rolls-Royce Phantom the Rolls-Royce Wraith is a luxury car known for its opulence and comfort. It is powered by a 6.6-liter V12 engine that produces 624 horsepower. The Wraith can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds and has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. The Rock bought his Wraith in 2016 and says it's the perfect car to relax in after a long day at work. He loves the way the Wraith's interior is made with the finest materials and loves how it feels to drive it. Would you like to drive something like this? Let me know in the comments box. The Ford GT The Ford GT is a sports car known for its performance and racing heritage. It is powered by a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 engine that produces 647 horsepower. The GT can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds and has a top speed of 216 miles per hour. The Rock bought his Ford GT in 2017 and says it's one of his favorite cars to drive on the track. He loves the way the GT handles and loves the feeling of speed it gives him. Other cars from Dwayne Johnson's collection that we can see in this famous actor and bodybuilder's life. In addition to the Pagani Huayra, Rolls-Royce Wraith, and Ford GT, Dwayne Johnson also owns other impressive cars. These include a Chevrolet Chevelle, a Ford F-150, a Lamborghini Huracan, and a Plymouth Prowler. The Rock's car collection is a testament to his success and love for cars. He is clearly an auto enthusiast and isn't afraid to spend money on the best cars money can buy. These flying machines are capable of performing incredible feats, from transporting heavy loads to escorting the president. Let's take a look! The CH-53 Sea Stallion, the largest and most powerful helicopter in the U.S. Navy. This giant can carry up to 55 soldiers or 13 tons of cargo and reach a speed of 315 kilometers per hour. Its main function is to transport troops and equipment to combat zones or carry out humanitarian missions. The Sea Stallion has a length of 30 meters and a rotor diameter of 24 meters. 
It's like a flying building, the CH-47 Chinook, the most versatile and widely used helicopter in the U.S. Army. This helicopter has two tandem rotors that allow it to maneuver easily and stably. It can carry up to 33 soldiers or 12 tons of cargo and reach a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. Its main function is to transport troops, vehicles, artillery or supplies to remote or dangerous areas. The Chinook has a length of 30 meters and a rotor diameter of 18 meters. It's like a flying truck. The UH-1N Twin Huey, the most famous and iconic helicopter in American history. This helicopter has a single main rotor and a tail rotor that allow it to fly with agility and speed. It can carry up to 14 soldiers or 2 tons of cargo and reach a speed of 220 kilometers per hour. Its main function is to perform air support missions, rescue, medical evacuation or VIP transport. The Twin Huey has a length of 17 meters and a rotor diameter of 14 meters. It's like a flying motorcycle. Steve Jobs, he was the co-founder, CEO, and executive chairman of Apple Inc. Jobs and Steve Wozniak, a friend from college, began working together in 1976 to build personal computers. In the same year, they released the first Apple computer, the Apple I in 1984, they released the Macintosh, the first personal computer with a graphical user interface. Despite Apple's successes, Jobs resigned from the company in 1985. However, he returned to the company in 1996 as CEO and led the invention of the iPod, iPhone and iPad. During his time at Apple, he also helped develop the Mac OS X operating system and the iTunes software. Bill Gates is an American businessman, investor, and philanthropist. He is known as the co-founder of Microsoft Corporation, the world's leading software company. Gates and his college friend, Paul Allen, founded Microsoft in 1975. In 1980, Microsoft developed MS-DOS, an operating system for IBM computers. This operating system became the standard for personal computers and helped Microsoft become one of the largest and most successful technology companies in the world. Gates retired from Microsoft in 2008 to pursue philanthropy through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Roger L. Easton is an American physicist and scientist, known as the main inventor and designer of the Global Positioning System GPS. Easton worked as a physicist at the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory in the 1950s. During that time, he helped create the Naval Space Surveillance System and Project Vanguard. During the 1960s and 1970s, Easton led the development of a satellite-based navigation system that eventually became GPS. GPS is a global navigation system that uses signals from satellites to determine the position and speed of objects on Earth. The system is widely used in land, sea, and air navigation, as well as in agriculture, mapping, and military applications. Mark Zuckerberg is the co-founder and CEO of Facebook, one of the largest and most popular social networks in the world. Zuckerberg began developing Facebook while a student at Harvard University in 2004. He launched the first version of the social network for students at Harvard and later expanded it to other universities. In 2006, Facebook went public and became a global phenomenon. In 2012, Facebook became a public company, and its market value exceeded $100 billion. Zuckerberg has been recognized as one of the youngest and most successful entrepreneurs in the history of technology. Elon Musk is an American entrepreneur, inventor, and technology mogul. He is the founder and CEO of SpaceX, a rocket and spacecraft company, and Tesla, Inc., a maker of luxury electric cars. Musk is also a co-founder of PayPal, an online payment service. Musk has been recognized for his vision and leadership in technology, and has been compared to great businessmen such as Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. His projects include the colonization of Mars and the creation of a high-speed transportation system known as the Hyperloop. Jeff Bezos is an entrepreneur, technology mogul, and the founder and CEO of Amazon.com, the world's largest e-commerce company. Bezos founded Amazon in 1994 and launched the website in 1995. Since then, Amazon has expanded to include a variety of products and services, including books, music, movies, clothing, food, and electronic devices. Bezos also owns the Washington Post and founded Blue Origin, a rocket and spacecraft company. He is considered one of the richest men in the world and has been praised for his entrepreneurial acumen and his ability to take risks. Larry Page is an American entrepreneur, inventor, and technology mogul. He is the co-founder of Google, one of the most popular search engines in the world. 
Page and his college friend, Sergey Brin, founded Google in 1998 while they were studying at Stanford University. Google became the world's leading search engine, expanding to include a variety of products and services, such as Gmail, Google Maps, and YouTube. Page is also the founder and CEO of Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google. Jack Ma is a Chinese businessman and technology magnate. He is the founder and former CEO of Alibaba Group, one of the world's largest e-commerce companies. Ma founded Alibaba in 1999 and launched the website in 2000. Since then, Alibaba has expanded to include a variety of products and services, including e-commerce, retail, B2B e-commerce, B2C e-commerce, C2C e-commerce, financial services, online advertising, online